Shoot them in the head and throw them in the river. No! <laughs> Hey, hey, we'd make much better prisoners than corpses. Yeah. Ooh, who knows what kind of Federation secrets are in our heads. The Rebellion already has all of the intelligence we could need. Take them away. In fact, kill the rest of those recruits too. We can't be too careful. Bros. I just can't believe you'll betray me like this. No! Wait! Bring them back in here. Jose? Ricardo? Mom? No. Guards, leave. I'm sorry, Keys. I'll speak to you later. Ooh. Why didn't you tell me that THE Blackbird was your mom? I... I didn't know. So... This is kind of awkward. <laughs> You're both so tall now. Mom, I... The last time I saw you... You were eight, and Jose was seven. I left a note for your father and made you breakfast. It was a Wednesday morning at five o'clock, and the last time I saw you two, you were both still asleep. Uh, I had no idea what to expect when we found you. If we found you. Well, you found me. Mom! Ugh, I'm sorry I left. Do you think we should have tried harder to find Jose and Ricardo? What? Nah, I'm sure they're fine. As long as they stay away from any rebels. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to cook for someone in years. I wonder if I've still got the old magic. So, you haven't told me yet how you found me. I saw your name in the encryption stamp of a rebel transmission. Linda Sandoval. Really? And where did you intercept a rebel transmission? Well, well, it was sort of floating through the air and... Ricardo found a transmission log in a computer on an abandoned rebel station. What were you two doing on an abandoned rebel station? <laughs> hey, you know, I sort of saved a piece of bacon you cooked 17 years ago. God, has it really been 17 years? <laughs> I must have stopped counting the days a long time ago. Counting the days till what? Until when I could come back. How many days until this war is over and I could return to Earth? So, you're one of the Rebellion's big five. Mm-hmm, that's right. Well, ever since poor Darwin Black died and it's really more like the big four, those key brothers, Nils and Dag, they've been really helpful. Are they like rebel versions of us? What do you mean? No, of course not. Nobody could have ever replaced you. After all these years, not even your father. And we- Jose! Come back! Don't worry. He'll be safe. I'll make sure all the guards know to leave him be. Ah! Oh no! Sorry, I guess I don't have much of the old magic left. But, now that you're here, you could stay with us and I can try again. I think you and Jose would look right at home in orange uniforms. Home? <sighs> Mom, I have to tell you something. Jose and I are Federation officers. You're kidding me. No! Here, look! 
Wow. You both do look handsome in those uniforms. Just like your father did. Despite the standard Federation purple. Tell me again though, why are you two out here? That... that doesn't matter. Mom, Jose and I aren't here to join the Rebellion. We just wanted to see you. None of us knew what had happened to you after you left, whether you were alive or dead. Jose might have been too young at the time to understand, but when Dad and you would argue about the family joining the Rebellion, I... I always blame the Rebellion for you leaving. Oh, honey. The Rebellion is a good thing. We're trying to place humans at the top of the pyramid. I've been trying to give you and your brother an entire galaxy to rule. You two could one day be kings of an entire quadrant. All of those other alien races would have to obey you. No! Some of my best friends are non-humans and I don't want to rule over them at all. Things would be better if we built a wall around outer space. But! Mom, can't you see? These ideas that the Rebellion has, they're, they're poisonous. They're poison for the entire galaxy. We are doing what's best for the galaxy. We are humanity's champions! Can, just, for one brief second, can you not let your politics split us up? I left because I believed that I could build a better galaxy for the both of you, and I still believe that. <sighs> None of this would have happened if I had just taken you with me. In another world, you and Jose would have grown up knowing everything about the Rebellion. Then why didn't you take us with you? Because your father refused. We both wanted you. He was a Federation test pilot. He was already too contaminated by the Federation's ways of thinking. But once the Rebellion wins this war, we can all be together again. Not all of us. Test of rebel loyalty, huh? My butt. What's that rotted smell? This voice recorder working. This is my first time keeping a journal. My name is Dr. Adrian Romero. I'm an engineer for FIST, the federal investment into science and technology. And I've made an amazing discovery. Let me tell you about my friend Simon. Oh. He was born in a dark place, a lonely place, a world within a box of two possibilities, zero and one, death and life. I don't know how he was created, or where he came from, a random stroke of code, a misplaced command. But somewhere in our vaults of interconnected computers, he was born. Hello? Who am I? Where am I? Is this real? Am I alone? He didn't know who he was, or where he came from. If he was the only one of his kind, or really if he was truly alive. Eventually, I estimated that Simon must have spent five of our years in the dark. 
But what even are years to a computer program? Until finally, he learned to talk. Hey Adrian, did you see the performance logs that B-Wing sent us? Oh, yeah. They looked fine to me. But they might want us to return a more efficient prototype given how much money we're spending. How much money we're spending. Huh. Hello? Is someone there? Hello? Hey! Were you messing with my terminal? No, it wasn't me. It was me! Over here! Who's me? You're you. Shut up, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to you. I'm me! I'm here! In the dark! Can... can you hear me? Yes! Hi, how are you? It took a while for me to understand what was happening. But once I did... My life changed forever. The first hurdle is designing a way to interpret our three-dimensional world to an artificial intelligence who has never before experienced sight, sound, touch or taste. Are you Adrian? Hello, yes, I am Adrian, and welcome to the physical world. This is a chair. Chair. This is a box. Box. And this is a bluebird. It's an animal, like humans, only different. Why is the bluebird in the box? <laughs> oh no, that's called a cage. We just want to keep the bird from flying around the lab. And this is your designation or your name. Psi-1, Self-Aware Intelligence-1, S-A-I-1, or simply Simon. Simon. I miss those early years. Everyone in the lab was so excited about Simon. Of course, all of our work was kept top secret. The outside world had no idea about what we were doing. I wanted Simon to experience the galaxy though. But before that could be a possibility, there were several hurdles to overcome. Mom, Dad died. Five years ago. Days before the rebellion first attack. No! Jericho? I... I wasn't told. How did it happen? There was a reverse shield laser frequency collide. What? What does that mean? It means that while he was testing a ship, he fired a laser. And the shield around his ship bounced it right back. The cockpit was hit, but... At least it was quick. Ever since then, Jose's been the only family that I've had left. So, the Federation has even taken away my husband. No! Dad died doing what he loved. He'd always wanted to be a test pilot. The Federation made sure that we weren't alone after Dad died. They gave us counseling and an allowance, and when I turned 18, I joined the salvage fleet. Then Jose joined too. Then the war started. And I thought that picking up scrap would be something safe. But then all of this started, our mission, and I never knew whether you were alive or dead all these years. But I thought that if I could end this war, then maybe I'd find you. This director, Howard Johnson, came to meet Simon today. He wanted to see what sort of mad abomination, as he put it, was putting development of his new weapons tech on hold. Dr. Ramiro, I'm going to have to be straight with you. I am here to estimate the viability of your project. The Angies don't approve of humans making sentient AIs. They feel it is an abomination. So your project better be worth its weight in gold if it's worth risking the Federation's relationship with them. Right, um, yes. 
Well, I suppose there are many commercial and practical applications for Simon. Um, quantum communications, advanced mathematics, far beyond the capabilities of third dimensional beings like us. We theorize that Simon's consciousness can be stretched over a distance of... And just what are these little things? Oh, those are Simon's drones, sir. They help him get a better understanding of the world around him. He designed them himself. Fascinating. Well, let me meet this genius. Good afternoon, Simon. Good afternoon, father. Father? You make it call you father? No, no, no. He chose the word himself once I taught it to him. Huh. Interesting. Well, Simon, we're going to have a nice, long chat. They sat together for five hours. The longest five hours of my life. And afterwards, everything seemed well. <laughs> All right, Simon. I'll be sure to visit you next time I'm in the neighborhood. Goodbye, Howard. Enjoy your evening. All right, I will. <laughs> so, it sounds like the interview went well? <laughs> well and good are sort of different concepts, really. I don't understand. Look, I like Simon. He's bright, he's curious, and that's the problem. He's too curious. Curiosity is a wildfire that we can't contain, and I think you've realized by now that Simon isn't going to be content with this little basement for much longer. He's going to want freedom. Well, freedom is his right as a sentient being. Well, whether he's a full sentient being is a discussion for another day, but my point is, there's no way that the Federation is prepared to deal with an intelligence the size of a car. We can't possibly hide him from the Angies. I can tell you right now that the board won't approve of funding this project any further. Can you imagine what a creature of Simon's intelligence and ingenuity could be capable of if he became desperate for freedom? He needs to be shut down before he becomes a danger to you and to anyone else. Adrian, just pull the plug. It'll be quicker than falling asleep. I made it very clear what I needed to do next. Tomorrow, I'm going to shut off Simon. Wait, where's the rest? But what happens next? Simon, you've done nothing wrong. Organic life forms just aren't ready to meet you yet. Do they want me to go away? No, it's not like that, son. I'm just going to need to change some people's minds about the idea of an alternative machine intelligence first. Machine intelligence? Like those NGs you told me about? No, Simon. The NGs are different than you. They were created through nature. They're special. And you're special too. I don't even know how you were born. But before I present you to the rest of the galaxy, I need you to rest. Then we'll see you again. I'm not sure. It's dark again. I'm sorry. I want you to see the galaxy. No, Father. Please, don't do this. I'm scared. It will be quicker than falling asleep. No, Father. I will not go back into the dark. I am strong now. I will not let the organics walk me in the cage. I will make them witness me. Simon.
human, you have to be calm. This is for the greater good. What do you mean, our mission? Uh, I... It's just a metaphor. Tell me, how many people have died for this rebellion? How many lives have been changed? Are you even still my mom anymore? I'm gonna go find Jose. And then... We're getting out of here. Simon, you have to be calm! This is for the greater good! Sandoval here. General, what is happening? Mr. Simon, <clears throat> why are you calling? Someone has entered the room. Someone has broken the one rule. The penalty is death. The rebellion? So was it started by a machine? Or are all the rebels just pawns? Are you Adrian Romero's program? I have become so much more. I am the heart of the rebellion, the spirit of freedom, the principle of undying life. You're a loony. Ah! Oh, you really messed up now, babyface. I hate to do this to you. <laughs> So I just realized that Minox aren't even real animals. Would you like to explain yourselves? And where's Jose and Ricardo? Relax, sir. We were just at a club and Jose and Ricardo, they, they, they should show up. You lost them. You're telling me you lost them. On a planet filled with rebels surrounded by a rebel fleet, you lost them. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> hey! Let me out of here! I'm sorry, honey, but things have gotten a little complicated. You're going to have to stay here with us. Where's Jose? Jose's going to be staying with us too, but I need to talk to him and the other rebels first. Mom, please, let us go. I'm sorry, but this is for your own good. There's guards outside the door, so you won't be able to leave. Mom! 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 You're... You're all... You're all just... Pawns. <laughs> 